Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're gonna go over to the next cup, but after a quick character change here. Wait, actually maybe I should sift through the heavyweight characters before I go through uh, the other ones, because the other later tracks are gonna get kind of hard, and yeah. This time I'm gonna use a cart just for the heck of it, as I said. Don't care about winning at all. This is just for fun. Flower cup, here we go! And intro music. Why don't I skip these things? I don't know. But here we go. First race. Wish me luck. Uh, you, you, well, that kind of won't help at all because I'm making these parts ahead of time. But anyway, I missed time my boost once again, and I definitely figured out that the boost was um, triggered after like <sighs> bullet bell attack. No, not after a bullet bill attack. It's triggered when you hold it right after the second light is about to disappear. So that's your best chance for getting the best boost at the start. Don't press it too early, otherwise you'll spin out. And why did I try and go through that? I don't know. Go, go, Bowser, go! Through the grass if you can! Yeah, baby! <laughs> um, the thing about carts, as opposed to bikes, is that you can achieve an orange boost instead of a blue boost with your power slide, so that's their advantage over uh, bikes, but most of the time it doesn't give you all that much more speed over bikes because of the fact that you can constantly be boosting with the, the bikes as opposed to you can only boost on the corners with your cars. So, oh boy, some there's some tracks that I think are you're, that you're better off using a car with than with a bike. But the thing is that they're so far and few that you're better off using it, like, most of the time. So, yeah. So, needless to say, I'm going to be at quite a disadvantage most of the time. Even though I'm somehow sitting in first place again for some reason. I guess it's because the other players are all drunk or something like that. I don't know. I mean, who in their right mind would race like this in real life? Even professional racers don't bump into themselves purposefully. I mean, that is dangerous, it's against the rules, it could get people killed or started on fire or both. You get the idea and tragedies happen, but nope, in the Mario world, it is a no problem thing. But then again, a lot of characters get blown up anyway in the Mario world. Maybe they just have a lot of extra lives or something like that. It just seems to work for them. I don't know, it's just a part of the game and look at that, I got first place again. Wow. <laughs> Heavyweight character too, and I got blown up by a blue shell after the finish line, but I don't care. Woohoo! Next track we go, let's just click through this. No one wants to see the scores when this is all about the fun. Okay, here we go. Coconut Mall, this is one of my favorite tracks in this area, or this flower cup here. Um, if you have a mushroom, you can take a shortcut on, on the second floor. There's a second floor through a clothing store, I think it is. Um, I'll show you it. Uh, I'll show you it on this first lap here. Holy cow, how the heck did I get bumped over there? Um, you go over here and go through this store like that. That's a little shortcut that you can take there. But by not taking that route, you kind of waste time there. <laughs> you can also jump off the uh, flower pots area things, whatever you want to call it. Plant your pots inside the mall here like... Uh, these things right here, they don't look like you can, but you can. You can also do it off the fountains for a boost. Uh, there's multiple paths to take through this thing. I'm going to take as many paths as I possibly can. I think this is the shortest path for the um, uh, normal route here. I mean, if you don't like take any shortcut routes or whatever. Oh, God! <laughs> Pikachu! How dare you! Get back in your Pokeball! I don't care if you're scared to be in it or not. You get back in there. You do not belong in this world. There, unless, you know, we want you to battle for us to help me out a little bit there. So, you also want to pay attention to the escalators as well, because they can screw you over by going up the down escalator. You get, or vice versa, whatever you get the idea. Or actually, come to think of it, I don't think you can go down and up the elevator in this area. I don't know what I'm thinking there. <laughs> That's what I get for not playing the game in ages, but whatever. This time I'm going to take 
this route for the final lap, the left side route with a big jump coming up. There's also a boost along this. Whoa, boy, banana peel. That's another thing. How the heck do banana peels spin out cars? I don't know. And how do you do stunts like this with cars? It is impossible. But I'm questioning the game logic, and I shouldn't be doing that at all. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you question game logic. You get run over by a car with a B in it. <sighs> so, final lap coming up. I'm in fifth place. I still have a shot at it first. But uh, I'm going to be showing you another path through here. As I said, I'm going to be showing you as many paths through as small as I possibly can. This will just lead you down through this area here. And whoa, whoa, wrong escalator, wrong escalator. And this is going to screw me, isn't it? Wait, I can just ride the... Oh, uh, no, that's not going to work, is it? That's uh, really not going to work. <laughs> I noticed the escalator is a little bit too late, and I was forced to take the other path. Either way. Either way, I would have been slow. Uh, point. Well... 10th place, I guess, is decent. <laughs> and that shell... Oh, it managed to hit someone. That was pretty nice. So I'm 8th, 7th. <laughs> go, Bowser, go! Move the Koopa Hide or shell or whatever. I got triple red shells. Triple red shells for the freaking win. Oh, shoot. That, I lost my triple... <laughs> lost my triple red shells and a lot of places in the race, but people are really close by. Ugh, not if I touch the wall, though. And the eighth place. No. That last lap was horrible. <laughs> that, that was mostly my fault. Next race we go. Woohoo! And what was the next race? I forgot. Wasn't it a, on a boat or something? Oh, I'm way off. DK Summit. We're on top of a mountain. There's no boats on top of a mountain. There's just snow and cold and rocks. And evidently cars for whatever reason. Whee! Let's go. And there's just one turn at the start here. You got something really silly. You got these ski lift ramps, and then you got this cannon that shoots you through midair. That would no doubt kill you in real life due to the velocities just bulging your brain as you're flying through the air. And I'll oh, shoot. Don't take the left road. Or, wait, actually, maybe the left road would be okay over there. But you'll run into the snow! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! And this snow is painted for whatever reason. Maybe it's chalk, I don't know. But it's something, and it never rubs off the snow. I don't know how that works either, even though the snow is like ultra soft. Ugh. It's all these details that I have to point out in the games that just make no sense. So as you can see, there's tire marks on the tracks here, indicating that people have already ridden through here before, but yet it still seems to roll run up right off the paint marks that are all over on the walls here. I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. Anyway, lap two coming up here. And we're still going around the track. This is what I mean about that racing game might like, not be the best idea for a walkthrough because of the fact that you can't really give tips on them. You find out the optimal routes as you go through the game, you know, just by practice and stuff like that and just by playing them. And that, that kind of stuff just comes with the territory of sorts, of constantly playing the courses until you get them. Not in the snow again this time, Bowser, thank you. See, there we go. Because I avoided that uh, snowy catastrophe, I was able to save a little time on this route, and that works for me nicely. And this time, I'm not going to go up the sides of the ski ramps, the half-pipe ski ramps over here. I'm just going to barrel through the snow with my mushrooms for the simple fact that I can, since it's a different alternate route that I can take. As I said, I'm going to be taking as many routes as I possibly can through the tracks just for the fun of it, and that's going to screw me. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Power block, red shell, explosions of death everywhere, and yet my car is still running. How is this possible? I should be leaking gasoline all over the place, unless it's powered by Chaos Emerald or something like that, like Tails' is Tornado. I don't know how these cars run, but dang it, they just keep going. But then again, even Tails' Tornado kept breaking down throughout Sonic Adventure. And I'm in the snow again, dang it. Arr, eat my banana peel. Aww, oh, you missed my banana peel by a slight margin. But that's okay. Fake item box, land on my fake item box, somebody, please. I'm hoping for quite a lucky break. Actually, this will probably work out okay. I got a heavyweight character so I can bump him aside just as much as he can bump me. But these ski areas just kind of ride up the rail, very shallow-like, so you don't stay in the air for too long. Staying in the air for too long wastes time, and my weight of he being a heavyweight is going to slow me down from accelerating, but that's okay. I still got second. Still a decent outcome, I think. <laughs> Next race, here we go. 
And this is the final race of the Flower Cup. Wario's Gold Mine, lots of bats. It looks sort of like a rotor, roller coaster, excuse me, but it's like the mine carts themselves are on a roller coaster track of sorts. I don't know how the heck this works. It doesn't seem like that would be very good for the production of this gold mine here. I don't know what War Wario was thinking of here when he built this mine, but it's definitely uh, not very productive, that's what I think. I mean, as you see, there's no mine carts on these parts of the track, so what the heck are they doing here? You don't see mine carts until the later parts of the tracks. And at this part, maybe it's because of this bath invasion, they're knocking the carts off the tracks, you know, the mine carts, those swoopers, they get in your way. That might be a problem, and why these, uh, this part of the mine is now come down. And now this is the only part of the mine that you'll see any mine carts whatsoever. And gold bars inside the mine carts, which I would love to take from them for themselves, but I don't want to steal from Mario. Here's a shortcut here. Woohoo! And this is much shorter than the, than the normal route, which is that way. Uh, but normally you would want to take that route if you can most of the time. Otherwise, if you can't make it between the minecarts, which timing sometimes doesn't work in your favor, you're going to have to take the other route. It's, it's a decision that you have to make before you approach that intersection. Practice makes perfect, people. And second lap, and I'm in 11th. Oh, 11th place. Oh, super... Super Mushroom, and then I lose it because of the freaking Pikachu Thunderbolt. Uh, I also should mention something, that when... The further back you are in the race, the faster you recover from item hits. That's another way the game balances out the uh, position of the race and keeps the races a bit more competitive as opposed to other Mario Karts. Um, that's really it. Can I... Yeah, I can blow up the minecart! Woohoo! <laughs> I love doing that. Or I, I should say I love blowing up uh, objects on the racetrack. Always good times to do it. Just blast them out of the way. Yeah, it's the final lap. It's all, it's super funny when you when you run into a banana peel. No, it's ultra funny when you uproot a tree or something and make it fly into midair like uh, with a blue shell or a oh boy. I thought I was gonna hit that actually, but the computer saved me in that case. But I mean, when you just knock a tree out of the ground and it just lands back into the ground on its own, it reroots itself. And third place, I'm doing pretty decently, as I said, since I'm using a heavyweight character. This is... I should not stop speaking. I should say I'm doing bad, so I do good or something like that. And I'm going to take this route for this last lap here. Pow block for the win! Yeah! That's good luck on, on my part there. And I'm still... What the heck? How are these people passing me? Ah! No, 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 no! Go, go, Bowser! Go, 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 go! Ah, fifth place. Blah. Well, let's see my place in the standings, and then I'll end off this part. Second place, not bad. Well, I'm actually tied for second. Well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part when we tackle... The Star Cup. Dun, dun, dun. And here's my trophy. Yay, but I wish it was gold!